The 2019 World Match Play Finals Night. Rob Cross versus Michael Smith for all the marbles. Who will take it down? Would it be one of these days for Bully Boy or one of these days? How about Voltage? Could the world number two add the match play to his world championship resume? Two players, one session, just one winner. And it's a major today on High Roller Radio. Yes, the match play final. An epic week of arrows inside the Empress Ballroom at the Winter Gardens Blackpool. There have been thrills, spills, and chills. Thrills like the run Bully Boys had, capped off by last night's dominating performance over Glenn Durant, 17-7 the final. Chills as Duza put his darts away on a very fine tournament. What a week it was for him. And how about spills like that first semi-final last night? Daryl Gurney was leading Rob Cross by 13-6 and 15-9 and lost 17-15. Greatest comeback in world match play history. Call it high voltage. What kind of week has it been? So it's Michael, got no bottle, won't win a major Smith. V. Rob, got lucky, won't win another major cross, tweeted commentator Dan Dawson. One of them becomes the match play champion. I absolutely adore it, he said. When folk who slag off dart players get proven wrong... Splendid, to which Bully Boy replied, I love you. We know who Gary Anderson was pulling for. Beaten by the king, he's hoping his pal becomes match play king. Well done, kiddo, he said. One more to go. There you see the head-to-head -head voltage, 12 and 3 lifetime Big advantage. We got this from the PDC. Premier League final, World Championship final, World Match Play final. Can Michael Smith now finally get over the finish line and pick up a huge trophy? Rob Cross stands in his way. They are playing for the Phil Taylor Trophy, named after him for a reason. The power with staggering stats right here. 16 times a winner of this very event. 99 wins. Just eight losses. And you know Robert Morgan's loving life. He's been at the Winter Gardens all week. Calm before the darting storm, he tweeted. A picture of an eerily quiet stage. All right, let's get to that storm. Bully Boy, first man intro tonight. Hit the stage in his usual style with kisses and heart signs, hoping for some love from the darting gods on his first ever major. Voltage, meantime, charged down the aisle with confidence. High fives all the way. He acknowledged the crowd and then got right down to business with the much better start. Had a few maximums and a few of these as well. A nice time. 40. It all equated to pressure on his opponent. He followed with this double six for three nil and gave it some, enjoying his early advantage. This guy wasn't enjoying anything. Bagled in that opening session, the Ofer 5 nil voltage as he left the stage in charge. This was the problem for Smith. Missed doubles, suffering a disaster on the outer ring. This look says it all. Contrastingly, this was the look of a man who just made it 6 nil. The look of a guy cruising. And wow, he wasn't done. Did you call this? Did anyone? 7 nil to start the match play final. How about 8 nil? Absolutely crazy. This double six made it nine on the spin. Steamroll City. Cross can't believe it, but hey, he'll take it. This was the reaction we got when Smith finished off 84 in two clean darts to get on the board. Relief. He then used his remaining dart to scratch his head in disbelief. Incredulous as to the outcome of those first two sessions. Down 9 1 at the second interval. A nightmare. Full credit to him, though. He took three of the next four to win the third session. Cross collecting his darts here as he made it 11-4. Still in the lead, still in control. But Smith showing signs of life. After Cross broke for 12-4, Smith came back with this. The 147 checkout to break back immediately. He then held for 12-6. As Rod Studd put it, he was finding his mojo. Bedlam after he broke for 12-7, the fans getting into it, 
But once again, Cross returned the favor, a break just before the interval to hit the commercials with a 13-7 lead. Unbelievably, Bully Boy would keep it going, won the next three for 13-10, just three back now. He can feel it, the fans too, pandemonium. So, how big was this shot? Voltage with the 110 to stop the rod. Can you say fired up? That was huge. But look at this. Smith plucking his dart from double 18. He broke right back. It was 14-11 at the commercials with Rod Studd saying, Bully Boy believes. Come on, Bully Boy, scream Luke Jones. Really needs to hold his throw in the next leg. If he can get to within two, it's well and truly game on again. But no, he was broken in the 26th leg. Good thing for him. He came back in the 27th with a break of his own. Then 28th leg, absolute drama. Smith on tops for 13. He missed. Couldn't believe it. Had to look twice. You see the tension in the family box. His wife, Dagmara, on pins and needles. How about it, though? Cross missed two. And yes, it was 15-13. But look at this response. The 72 checkout from Voltage. Under all kinds of pressure, he let loose a big explosion. His wife was electric as well. She was sensing it. And look at this expression. When he made it 17-13, one away. And yes, he would cross the line for jubilation. 18-13, your final for Michael Smith. 70,000 pounds, another runner-up in a major world championship, the Premier League, and now the match play. I started way too slow, he admitted. I was constantly chasing and chasing. I just didn't turn up. For Voltage, 150,000 pounds, the match play title. He'll be one of only nine names on the Phil Taylor Trophy and some vindication too. Some called him a one-hit wonder. Well, make that two now. Michael struggled on doubles tonight, he said. It made me a little edgy, to be honest. Then adding, I knew if I stayed calm and just took my chances, I'd be all right. I'm at a loss for words. I'm just so happy I won. And so he should be. Here he is, taking it all in. Congratulations, Rob Cross, tweeted Tom Beresford, providing his impressive list of accolades. He can play, can he? He showed it tonight. Across the stage he went. Chris and Cross, he's the boss today on High Roller Radio.